Right guys, I've just got in from work. Monday dinner is a no messing about dinner. Check what I've got. So I've got some uh, potatoes on now for me mashed potato. We've got a tin of baked beans and these lovely Cumberland sausages what I got from the butchers on Saturday. There you go guys, a nice simple dinner tonight. Me fresh Cumberland sausages from the butchers, mashed potato and baked beans. Love it. Seriously guys, the simplest of dinners sometimes are the best. Let's have a look at that Cumberland. Look at that. That is a proper sausage. I'm not being rude. I mean a proper, proper butcher sausage. Mmm. That is so gorgeous. It's unbelievable. Right guys, so I think uh, tomorrow night, Tuesday night's dinner, I'd have to have that stir fry. Nice quick one from work. Uh, Wednesday, it'll probably be a roast dinner, that pork with the stuffing in, or I'd go for the minted pork chops. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get on with this now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Right guys, I've just got in. It's a Tuesday night dinner, and I suppose I better eat that stir fry, what I got on uh, Saturday from the butchers. I don't really feel like it, to be honest, but if I don't eat it tonight, I'll end up throwing it away because it'll be out of date. So here's what I've got. So I've got my barbecue chicken stir fry. Uh, I've got a pepper stir fry mix to go in there. I'll quickly pick that up from Asda because I like, I like it where it's sort of got a bit of sauce to it and that's only really the meat marinated in the, the chicken marinated in the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add that to it as well. I've got some of these, uh, this is what Shannon and Lucy have, these noodles. So I'm going to put some of them in it as well. And look at this, living the dream. How about that? While I'm cooking my dinner, I'll have a bit of chocolate milk as well. Anyway, I'm going to get my coat off, get this stir fry on the go, and we'll see what it looks like. Right, just cooking it off now. I've added a load of seasoning, some chilli, some garlic. This is smelling damn good. Next time I go to the butcher's, Remind me to freeze off the stir fry. I'm just cooking it now and I was thinking, blimey, I'm not going to eat all this amount of chicken. I should have froze it off of it really, but too late now. I reckon I could have quite easily got away with half of that, that amount of chicken, considering the noodles and the veg I'm putting in. I see a lot of you comment and say, do the girls not eat dinners with you? Guys, in the week, no. They never know what time I'm going to get home from work, nor do I. Sometimes, I mean, today was a good one. I got home at uh, 20 past six, but sometimes it's seven, eight, or whatever, and they're too impatient to wait for me, so they do their own dinner. Right, so that's tonight's dinner. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. As you can see, that's what I've still got left in the wok. There's no way I can eat any more. I think I'll be struggling with this. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'll tell you what, it smells lovely. Mmm. That is gorgeous. If you remember my vlog from the butchers, I got some minted pork chops. And I have took them out of the freezer and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to have them tomorrow, nice roast dinner. But I suddenly thought, hang on a minute, calm yourself down. It's Sunday next weekend and it's Easter. We're all having a massive great big turkey roast dinner, all the trimmings. So I'm thinking now, I don't want a roast dinner tomorrow. But I've left those uh, pork loin steaks out. I might do them with a bit of sauté potatoes, a bit of munch too. Or I might just have um, the minted steaks with a bit of salad, homemade, take a salad to go with it or whatever. I'm not too sure, or rice. I'm not too sure yet. See what I feel like tomorrow. Anyway guys, I and now, I've just remembered, I've got my iPad out ready. I've done a vlog at the weekend and I haven't even put it together or put it on. So I'm gonna get that on now so you guys have got a vlog tonight. Anyway, I'll catch you tomorrow. Right guys. Wednesday night is dinner. I can't believe it's halfway through the week already. This is what I've got for dinner tonight. So as I said, I'm bypassing the roast dinner, what I was gonna have for these uh, pork minted chops, because we're having a big Sunday one uh, on Easter next week. So I was naughty, instead of doing my own rice, I got some peri-peri Uncle Ben's rice, bit of salad, 
tomatoes, cucumbers and coleslaw. So, I'm going to see how it looks when it's finished. Guys, I fancy a bit of salad dressing on my salad tonight. No salad dressing in the fridge, but I'm going to show you a quick tip how to make a lovely salad dressing up in about two minutes. So here's how I'm going to knock up a quick salad dressing uh, for myself. There's a bit of sugar, Coleman's mustard, got some sunflower oil, would have been better if I've had um, olive oil, but I haven't got it, and some vinegar. Check this out guys, best tasting salad dressing and knock it up quick. Right, so I've got a bit of olive oil in there. Let's have a bit of vinegar. About a quarter to what the oil is. Bit of sugar, this is purely down to taste. Have a bit of mustard just to give it that bite. Let's have a bit more of a bite to it, it needs. vinegar that is gorgeous let's sweeten it a little bit more that's got a lovely kick to it absolutely perfect spot on right so there you go a nice a bit of salad um, with the salad dressing on it well, I've just made up bit of um, with some salt and black pepper and some crushed chilies on top look at that right guys there you go that is Wednesday night's dinner so I've got my minted pork chops peri peri rice nice bit of salad with a salad dressing on a bit of coleslaw look at that this is absolutely gorgeous for a nice quick dinner love it mmm Anyway guys, I'm going to eat this now and go and do a bit of chillaxing and I'll catch you for Thursday night's dinner. Right guys, Thursday night's dinner, it's a late one tonight. I'm rushing around like a loony. This is what I'm having. So I've not got it all out at the moment. Nice bit of sirloin steak, some skin on fries. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of salad because I wanted some spring onions with it. Can of Foster's while I'm doing it. I've got a seeded loaf of bread. And some of my Cumberland sausage I've taken out of the freezer. That's going to be for me lunch tomorrow. Anyway, let's get all this on the go and I'll show you what it looks like. Adiel, guys, this is such a late one. I'm literally just cooking the steak now. Chips are done, so let's go for it. I've seasoned the steak with a bit of uh, sea salt, ground black pepper and a nice little bit of chilli flakes. There's the night's dinner, guys. A bit of medium rare sirloin, petit pois peas, coleslaw, a nice little mixed salad with spring onions and some skin on potato fries oh, and also my English mustard. And I know what you're going to say, Ugh, he's put tomato ketchup on there. I don't care, I've got to have tomato ketchup on chips. It's now ten past eight, I'm only just having my dinner. Right guys, as I'm eating this delicious steak with fries, um, I originally was going to do the old Slimming World for five days. Five days Slimming World meals. But getting all this lovely stuff from the butchers, it just threw me out. But next week, I 100% promise we're going to have five Slimming World meals of the week. I'm not going to mess around doing the old recipes. I want new recipes to do. So we'll see what I can come up with. Anyway, I'm going to eat my dinner, guys. Tomorrow, I am thinking um, Friday's dinner. A lovely bit of smoked haddock. I love that. Creamy mashed potatoes. Maybe a bit of monch toot with it. Sounds like old Del Boy out of Falls and Horses, doesn't it? Monch toot, monch toot. 
But that's what I'm thinking of having uh, to end my five days meals of the week. And they've all been bloody lovely as well. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow for Friday's last meal. Right, guys, I've just got in from work. My TGI Friday is what I got from Iceland. Come and check it out. So there's the chili beef fries. I've just took them out of the box. So you get the fries, you get the chili beef there, then you get the sauce as well. You've got to cook the chips first, then put the sauce on both of them, on top of the chips. And that's my other thing, my boneless chicken wings. That's a smoky barbecue sauce. And there's the chicken wings. Let's cook it all up and see what it looks like and tastes like. Right guys, so that is how it's looking. Chili beef fries with cheese sauce and the chicken with smoky barbecue sauce. Let me give it a taste test, see what I think to it. Well, if it's any good, guys, I'm going to buy the whole range this weekend in Iceland because I love anything like this, especially when it's different. Right, chili beef and chips with cheese sauce. Mmm. That's actually quite nice. I like that. That is actually quite nice. Mmm. So we've got chicken here with smoky barbecue sauce. Don't look too bad, smells nice. Mmm. Actually, that's not too bad. I'm just wondering though, I think it cost me like £5.50 for the chips and the chicken. Mmm, don't know if it's worth it. Don't know. Might have to get another one at the weekend to try to, to make me mind up. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if it's worth £5.50. Don't know, it's a hard one to say. I'm going to get another one at the weekend and we'll try that and see what that's like. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, it's not bad, it's nice, don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm just wondering if it's worth what it is. Right, that's the end of my five meals of the week. Next time, my five meals of the week are going to be a Slimming World one. I'm going to sit down, plan all the meals out and not eat chocolate all week. Well, it's going to be mad being on Slimming World meals and eating chocolate all week. So that's going to be hard. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time for my meals of the week.